In today's video, we're going to show you how to install the clutch in your Whirlpool built washer. If you're just putting your clutch back on because you had to take it off to change a the transmission, then you've got your old clutch to reinstall. If you've purchased a new clutch and you're looking to put it on, it's going to come with some extra pieces. It's going to come with a new cam that'll go onto your basket drive. Um, they're giving you this in case possibly yours has been broken when your clutch failed. Um, but if, it's, if your one is in good shape, then you don't need to change it right now. You can if you like. It's going to come with a new retaining clip that locks it onto your transmission. Uh, they give it to you one because in getting the old one off, you may have had to pry a little excessively on it and it may not have the same tension. So they give you a new one. They also give you a new plastic collar for underneath just because sometimes they'll wear or it may have broken when the clutch was removed. Your clutch will come with a new clutch band and a new spring inside. This is the spring, the blue one, that's used for a full-size automatic. If you have a different machine that has a green spring, you're going to want to change that. And it's pretty easy to do. You just go to pop your clutch band out with a screwdriver. With your clutch band out, you can now separate it, change your spring, and you're good to go. Just reinstall it, reinstall the band. But for this size washer, we want to go with the one that was already in it. And we're just going to give that a squeeze. So it's that easy to change that clutch spring if you need to. So to put your clutch in place, insert this white plastic piece, it just snaps in. There's only one way for it to go in so you don't have to worry about it, just four tabs, four slots and you're good to go. Slide that down onto your transmission shaft over the collar of the transmission. And again, doesn't matter which way, there's four tabs, four slots, same thing. So now we'll want to install our new spring, spring clip that retains your clutch. So you're going to want to take that little pin and put it into the hole. Just rotate it because your spring is going to want to go down into that collar. So you just got to give that a little push with the screwdriver. Keep locking it down into place. Just push until finally it all snaps in and that's good to go. The next piece you'll want to put on is this uh, big circlip and its whole purpose is to basically slide in and you'll see on your transmission there's a slot right here. Same on the other side and that's what this clip is sliding into. So you're just going to line that clip up into those slots and push it into place. And its whole purpose is to hold that clip in and keep the clutch so it can't lift up too high. Because there is a certain amount of play in that collar that's supposed to be there, but that's what the clip does. Now all you need to do is to take that thrust collar, you just bring that down on your transmission shaft, slide it all the way down, and then just have that one little finger that's protruding from below drop in here on your clip and it just keeps it from rotating all the way around. So if yours does have that extra little thrust washer, just slide that down onto your transmission shaft, let it fall right down onto that washer. And that's how easy it is to replace the clutch. Mm -hmm. 